Dr. Paul here. What you're about to see is a visit for a fussy baby. Oftentimes in pediatrics, we call it colic, and it's kind of code for fussy baby. But most pediatricians think of colic as gas pain. And it turns out not all fussy babies are fussing because of gas pain. And in this particular instance, you're going to hear this mom's story. She's going to share the whole thing with you. But I first saw this baby at about a month's age, just a couple, two, three days ago. And for sure, this was like the fussiest baby I've ever seen probably in my career, 35 years in pediatrics. And so it felt different than your typical colic. You can pick up a colicky baby and you kind of jiggle them and you do the new parent dance, which is rocking back and forth. And if you've seen, I've had some videos of this and tap, 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 and, and that sort of just puts them to sleep. Well, it didn't work at all for this baby. And I kind of sensed that was the case. Uh, this baby's head was clearly to one side. We call that torticollis when you're, you just can't have good range of motion. So it felt like this was maybe musculoskeletal. We have a massage therapist, body worker, who specializes and really primarily works on kids and loves to work with babies as well. So she's going to be working on this kid. This is the video you're going to see. Body work has its place in pediatrics and this is one where it's like probably the only thing that was really gonna make a difference. So enjoy the video. Hi, so right about at like one week old, because he's officially four weeks old. He just started having like these horrible fits and bouts of just screaming. Um, and we weren't sure, we were like, oh, it just must be like an insanely colicky baby. Um, eight hours a day awake, which is so not a normal wake window for a newborn. Um, and just wailing and pain and screaming and crazy reflux issues. And we just did not know what to do and pulling out our hair, just trying to figure out what was up. And we came in just the other day and just like the little work like consult that you did and working on his body he's already handling all of his gas problems so much better um barely any fit yesterday we had like maybe 20 minutes of just a little tiff but he's working it all out so much better and slept through the night so good last night mm. so what i'm doing right now which is what i did before yeah it's just that support and that holding. And the same thing when I finally figured it out with Ryder, the same thing worked, was that tension just gets released. And when they're coming out and, um, and you had a home birth, mm -hmm. and sometimes they get stuck and it, it's their body. And when I was holding him two days ago, there was some tension right in the mid back that I hadn't, but it was different. And mm -hmm. then I remember thinking, it's a that smile. <laughs> I remember thinking that's what Ryder had. His spine was so twisted when he was born. So I just kind of, that's all I did was just worked on that and pulled and did what I called cranial occipital spinal. Mm -hmm. So right now what we're witnessing is a deep breath. He's out and we're allowing by opening up the spine and supporting the back of the head. We're getting that real good deep breath. <laughs> yeah, he's really breathing. <laughs> and I'm just noticing, asking a question. Yeah. These fingers are massaging. Yep. These, this hand is supporting, and there's just some gentle, occasional mm -hmm. traction I'm noticing. Mm -hmm. um, and that's for torticollis. That can be super effective because mm -hmm. you know the being born is pretty traumatic. Yeah. Right. You're just squeezed out, and the vertebrae can kind of get a little jammed, and uh, then you get muscle spasm if you've ever had a slipped disc, yes. which I've had. Yeah. And there we go. There we go. I know. So as I'm working, I'm sorry for interrupting. Sometimes I'll see like that. Look, we'll get that. One, you could be having a bad dream. The other thing is, if I hit a certain spot and it's tight, like I'm finding that same little twist again, when I'm on that, it can be uncomfortable. Just like when you get a massage and somebody uses too much pressure, mm -hmm. <clears throat> or gets in there and it's like, mm, that doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I just have to really listen to the body super carefully mm -hmm. and pay attention to every movement. So that's why I watch like crazy. Yeah. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, you can kind of tell he's like maybe pregnant. There we go. I know. Yeah, I know. I'm going to bring you back. I'll bring you back. There we go. Yeah, he just felt like a new baby again, like the baby he was where he was like finally napping normally and being able to pass out and mm -hmm. be him nor his normal self. As soon as I grabbed 
baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said, good night, little baby. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to feel where the tension was, where the issue was, mm -hmm. and that what, in adults, we would say the mid-thoracic area. Mm -hmm. And I felt, like I told you, I felt like it was pinched a little bit. Yeah. So just by relaxing, I'm working on muscles. I'm working with, you know, the nervous system, cranial pressure. I'm not, quote, adjusting anything. And just for years of doing this, my thought is, Again, it's it's musculoskeletal, mm -hmm. and if the muscles are causing the tension and all the things they're going through, that causes that. He definitely had a little more of that turn that could have turned into torticollis. So I, ha oh, I'm sorry, I was trying to just show him. Yeah, you want to fuss, and then I can show how we come out of it. Unless you're getting hungry, I can't even. I can't even fix hungry. Okay. 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 Oh, you go. Okay, buddy. I got you. I got you. There we go. There we go. And his hand just like relaxed. Just opening up. Yeah. Hi. I got you. I got you. So your yeah. left hand is doing something. Mm -hmm. So I've got my left hand on his spine where his tension is. Right now the focus is his head. He has a lot of pressure in his little head, which they do. So I'm using my right hand to just slowly kind of pull back and allow. So when I see the tension in his face or I see something happening, I'll know what to do. I can feel where that's kicking up so that uh -huh. I can relax. So here he's fussing. That, Go ahead. That pulling is this kind of motion, but very mm -hmm. subtle. Because okay. you had to train me, I was doing some really good pulling. And sometimes it would really work for the uh -huh. torticollis, but mm -hmm. this is a gentle, very gentle, and you're watching the expression. Mm -hmm. So you instantly change if there's a, oh, oh that's like not comfortable. Seeing what you mm -hmm. tolerate. Right? Letting him move. Yeah. Okay. So I'll show you some of my secret weapons tools. Okay. This is what I use for massaging. You never leave a baby on here unattended. Is it the boppy one? Yeah, it's yeah. the la boppy lounger. Yeah. So you may not be able to get one. Yeah. <laughs> So what I do to kind of assess and evaluate is I'll lay them down and I'll see, does the head want to go one way? Does it want to go the other way? <laughs> the way. one thing when we're tight, and if your back's really tight, nobody wants to lay on the ground on a firm surface. Yeah. So if we put them on something soft, like when he starts to fuss, just me touching him a certain way changes it a little bit. Uh -huh. Having him on something softer. Yeah. Work with the tension, that changing positions. Like you said, though, if he's just screaming all the time uh -huh. and you can't figure it out, then it gets harder. Yeah. And then one of the biggest tricks is, hey, you ready for the secret trick? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are doing amazing. <laughs> You are powerful. You are strong. You are the best thing for this baby. Trust that. Yeah. And know that, yeah, he's, he's fussy. He's upset. I always say, don't tell them they're okay. They're not okay. We'll say, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Can you talk to us? I'm here for you. Yeah, I'm here for you. You're safe. Mm -hmm. You are such a blessing. And just keep up those positive words. Mm -hmm. um, but what I was going to say is having him on here. And he's going to fuss for a second, but I want to undress him so I can show spinal stuff. Okay. <gasps> wow, this is new. The magnetic me. Okay. Been a while. Hi. Hi. So I'm going to put him up here. Doc, you want to come in front? And so what I do is I bought him up. Hey. And I'm looking so we can see that it's definitely to the right, but I'm gonna look to see what's happening in the spine. Do we have any curvature because of it? Yeah. Development will generally be one side more than the other. So yeah, he curves that yeah, way. Yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah, and that's, there's- Yeah, look. look yep. that, yeah, nothing bad, nothing wrong. But this is where I say, let's work on the muscles first. Let's not try and adjust or move or change that yeah. until we get that tension to let go. So we're gonna focus on soft things, soft focus on positioning. <laughs> He likes the camera. Ooh, he's a star. <laughs> like, forget Doc. I'm going to look right in the camera at my audience. What do you want to tell your audience? Do you have something you'd like to say? Do you want to talk to Doc? You want something you want to say to your audience? Yeah? It's been a hard, a hard month. Okay. Everything's going to be better now. Yep, every little thing's going to be all right. I hope so. So this is one thing by having him on something soft and say he kind of decides because it's relaxed on this and he falls asleep. You're right there. Yeah. So we're just making sure. Yeah. But it is a great place for working on baby. Yeah. Kind of working that way. Way more comfortable for yeah. him. Yeah. So now what I'm going to show you though, what happens is if that neck's allowed to pull that hard all the time, 
the focus is we want nose, even with sternum. It should all be that way. So this little baby, this pillow, is what I highly recommend. And you had asked about sleeping on it. So if baby's sleeping with you and he's on this and it's used properly, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Take care of you, but as you can see, immediately that stops him from pulling. Neck, cranial head pressure, being able to suck is really important. That tension builds up in the head, and the sucking shifts the jaw. Uh, Doc, want to grab the cranial head that's sitting out there? It shifts the jaw when he's sucking like this, it shifts it, and it takes pressure off the back. We win. Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Baby! Where's mommy? Where's I'm right she? here! You're way more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Don't do I'm working here. Don't do it. We were just doing a little experiment. Look over so, there. I saw this. I wasn't sure if this helps, but this is that piece is that is he sucking. I don't know if you can see well enough. Uh -huh. Here, move your hand for a second. Can you get on the side of the jaw? That shifting back and forth, that helps to take some of that pressure off. A lot of times when it's that tight though, they'll shoot the pacifier out. Yeah. And so that's where like with by doc pushing a little bit on it helps it. But that can help a lot by, oops, there it goes. And he may not even need it. Okay. He would probably nurse right now from the way he's going at that pacifier. So yeah. Hello, we'll yeah. pretend, oh, I'll use this. Why don't we take a quick break um, and do a little nursing to make sure he's fed, unless you brought a bottle with milk. Nope. Um, so let's go ahead and do a quick break on that. Okay. Um, we're just going to let him hiccup. Okay. Yeah. Do you think the sucking would help with hiccuping? Or? No, I want him to like more like this. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's awesome. When I'm working with this, if he starts fussing because of the hiccups, sure. Yeah. And sometimes even just the massage with that and holding the position and keeping them up, hiccups won't even last as long. I've had people will call or text me, and go, baby's had the hiccups for a really, really, really long time. Yeah. And I'm like, well, what are you doing? And well, he's laying flat and he's just got the hiccups for a really, really, it's like, this. yeah. Did I stop focusing on you for a minute and talking to other people? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Well, let's work. Hi. Yeah, baby. I know. We're going to work along the head so you can see Connor right here. Oh, you're gassy, aren't you? Yeah. You know what? Let's teach these beautiful people out there on YouTube world the I love you massage. Are you ready? Okay. So with an infant, especially this young, we are starting really low. We start here and follow the pathway of the, the colon. So we're just gonna work gently down first. Mm -hmm. And if it's helping, then he won't fuss. If it's too much pressure, he'll fuss a little bit and we stop. You have big bowel movements? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, that's, yeah, you have a good supply. And yeah. so there's a lot moving through the intestines. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, in the womb, babies are fed from the umbilical cord. Mm -hmm. And so their intestinal tract is not doing anything. Mm -hmm. And then they're born and all of a sudden disconnect from mama's umbilical cord and here's your milk, right? Mm -hmm. If you've got a large supply, that natural peristalsis, that just the wave-like motion that's supposed to take it from the mouth all the way through, isn't always working quite right. Yeah. So things back up, which yeah. is why uh, the new new parent dance can help. You know, you, you just walk the floor, right? Take turns. <coughs> yeah. Yep. Um, and then this sort of massage is, is, it can be really helpful for yeah. some, for some babies. So I'm still now focused I'm on the left here and putting a just gentle pressure still, but kind of allowing that, that gravity, that weight. And this is another position that doing the newborn, what'd you call it? New daddy new parent, dance? New parent dance. New parent dance um, sort of helps, but, and changing positions. If you try that other one and that's not working and he starts to fuss, then try this. If this doesn't work, then you try something else. Um, sometimes that just switching they are their whole central nervous system. It's all going on. And sometimes moving from 
Yeah. Ah. I know. From parasympathetic to sympathetic can be tough. Yeah. And the mo as much as you can while he's got that tension and that torticollis going on, yeah. holding him more sideways like this versus having him on you so his head's forced to turn one way. Yeah. Um, if you can get him laying him on you and you can get him to turn his head the other way, that's great because that's opening that up. But yeah. we don't want to strain. We want to encourage and massage. You're going to get so much advice. This is true for breastfeeding and it's true for a fussy baby. Mm -hmm. And grandma's always right. So grandma's out there, you know, you're always right. Um, you know, the grandma, the grandma might have raised four or five or 10 children. So they have to know, right? But the funny thing is each kid's different. So try things as long as they're not dangerous. If it works, great. And what I do with, with the new parent dance is I support the head gently. Okay. I'm not forcing that head onto myself. Hi. And you know, sometimes you're just tired, but this is doable, mm -hmm. right? And and at least they're they're close to your body, they're close to your your heart. Some kids need a little more pressure. Right now I know that won't work. Yeah. So just very gently holding the head. I'm taking the clues. Back and forth, rocking yeah. up and down. That's what the and, balls handy. And too. sometimes the shh 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 they heard the heartbeat in the womb. Uh -huh. That shh, shh, that's what that is. And sometimes it's just calming. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can't force that head flat. It's just got to go to the right, yeah. right? But at least, at, at least I'm getting some. Yeah. There, there's some turn now yeah. to the other side. Mm -hmm. So if you can switch it up when you can, you do. You guys, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. And if you think this video might help somebody you know who has a newborn or is about to have a newborn, share it with them. Most states in the U.S. at this time are uh, not requiring masks, but some are. Uh, we use a process of informed consent, and we have parents who don't like masks, and they would prefer that their baby can see human faces, and nobody in this room is sick, and so we were honoring that option, that choice that the parents made. Mm -hmm. And uh, frankly, as a pediatrician who understands all about this, I think it's a really good choice. Mm -hmm.